Good afternoon. Welcome to the July 18th, 2024 meeting of the Sacramento Area Flood Control Agency Board of Directors. Would the clerk please call the roll? Thank you, Director Desmond. Director Frost. Here. Director Hume. Here. Chairman Kennedy. Here. Director Cerna. Here. Director Jennings. Director Kaplan. Here. Thank you, Director Talamantes. Director Holloway. Here. Director John. Here. Director Perez. Present. Director Baines. Here. And Director Conan. Present. We have a 10 member quorum. Thank you. Please read the, your message. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This meeting of SAFCA is being broadcast live and will be cablecast without interruption on metro14live.satcounty.gov and will be available on SAFCA's website within 48 hours after the meeting. Members of the audience who would like to address the board should fill out a speaker form located here on the lectern and bring it to me. When addressing the board, please identify yourself for the record and limit your comments to three minutes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Takes us to uh, the, will you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, that takes us to public comments for items not on the agenda, and I do have one card. Peter Spaulding. You have three minutes, sir. Yes, thank you. Can't think of a better way to spend a Thursday afternoon in Sacramento in the summer. Nor can <laughs> Good we. Good to be here with you. Uh, my name is Pete Spaulding. I live at 2531 Rio Bravo Circle, uh, which is right in the Larchmont Community Park area. Uh, good afternoon, Chair Kennedy and board members. Thanks for giving me some time to speak about upcoming erosion control contracts 3B and 4B. We appreciate your time at every meeting. I've had the opportunity to talk and email with several of you, especially Chair Kennedy, Mr. Desmond, and Mr. Hume. I appreciate your listening. Since December of 23, when many of us first learned about the upcoming work, we've worked really hard to understand the need for the work, the approaches being taken, the design, the mitigation efforts, we have had serious concerns about community engagement, interpretation of flow, river flow velocity maps, inventory of recreational opportunities, the American River Parkway plan conflicts, conflicts with the Federal and State Wild and Scenic Rivers Act, alternative erosion control techniques. Uh, the catch term, significant but unavoidable, that was used a lot in review of the GRR in 2016, is just unacceptable. We focused our initial efforts on spreading the word about the project and gathering, generating as many public comments as possible. Since then, we've done our best to share our concerns with those that can influence the final designs. The Corps, the Department of Water Resources, Central Valley Flood Protection Board, federal organizations within the Department of Interior, the Department of Commerce, and yourselves. We continue to press the Army Corps of Engineers with questions. We do not get answers, just referrals to old documents. We're actively participating in the Bank Protection Working Group as both you and the Corps have recommended. We've been speaking with members of the Bank Protection Working Group to gain a better understanding of the design considerations and recommendations that were made. While we heard that the results after these contracts 3B and 4B are completed will not resemble the Campus Commons, Sac State areas, we see no evidence of that from the Corps. In fact, maps we have obtained from the Corps under the Freedom of Information Act, labeled as preliminary 100% design, covering the area from Howe Avenue to the Mayu Drain, show no meaningful reduction in the area of vegetation and trees being removed than those maps that were included in the December 23 draft SEIR SEIS. Like all of us that use the parkway, you will have to live with the results after the Corps' work is completed. We see those results as violating the American River Parkway Plan, the Federal and State Wild and Scenic Rivers Act, and devastating to the integrity of the parkway. As many of us have said from the first time we learned of these contracts, we are not against erosion control, not against flood protection. Most of us live within one quarter mile of the levee. This is not an emergency situation. Let's work together and get a win-win-win outcome, erosion control, flood protection, and a wild and scenic American River Parkway. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Spaulding. Appreciate you coming down. Is there any other members of the public uh, to address the board at this time for an item not on the agenda? 
Hearing and seeing none, we will recess into closed session. We'll come back to order. Uh, council, is there anything to report out of closed session? Yes, I would like to report that for the item relating to APN 274-0420-016, Director Johns recused um, when he became aware that SMUD might be a, a party to it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next item, please, Madam Clerk. Our next item are consent matters, and items 1 through 12 are in order. And just for the record, I did do a visual roll call, and we're all in order. Thank you very much for that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. I'm sorry, I missed the motion. Uh, it was Vice Chair Holloway and uh, uh, Director Conant. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? <clears throat> Next item, please. Next item is the Executive Director's Report. Good afternoon. Um, there's a lot of construction going on, so I just have a few pictures. They'll be fairly short, but just to show you some of the, the work going on there. Um, on this first one up at Folsom Dam Dyke 1, the, they've pretty much finished the work on the flood wall. They'll be doing some of the backfill up against the wall and, and the new um, road that goes in there. They've moved over, started work on Dyke 3 also now, and have started work on the right wing dam. And um, so a lot of activity going on up at Folsom there. Moving over to the Sacramento Weir, the new fish passage structure. A lot of piles are going in. If you've driven by over there, you'll see all that. I wanted to kind of give you a feel for how large those are that they're putting in. And then um, they pretty much finished. These, this is the fish structure that will take the fish from the front, that will allow the fish to get back into the river from the bypass. So, so it, they pretty much finished all the piles there, but uh, soon become, should be coming up out of the ground here pretty soon. Moving over on Natomas Highway 99, um, the slurry wall has been built on both sides of Highway 99, so now we've got the gap under 99. The core is, is working on right now with the contract. They've started a little bit of work out there. Uh, actually, most of it's going to happen next year, but, but they are starting a little bit um, out there right now. Okay, then I wanted to move over. So uh, part of the work on the American River um, impacted the Campus Commons Golf Course, and because it's a relocation. Um, SAFE is responsible for uh, rebuilding the golf course now. So this is our contract that's going on. We're rebuilding that, that course. I just put a few, few photos in on, on that construction, but that is our, golf, uh, our contractor out there. And then um, on the mitigation site on River Mile 1.3, that's the property with the pond that was formerly owned by the Erudias. It has contaminated soil on it. Um, that's our responsibility to take it off. So again, this is Safeco's contractor out there. We're cleaning the site right now. So uh, digging out some of the material. This is the contaminated material that we need to haul off and dispose of. And then uh, backfilling those holes. So um, just wanted to make you aware of some of that work going on. I did put this together. Um, if you're, there's about 18 sites that I just identified around the valley here where if you go out, you can see active construction going on. Um, up at Folsom, the one I'm most excited about is they're t they just started a couple of weeks ago. They took the, um, the first gate out of the existing gates up on the dam, uh, gate eight, and so they'll be rebuilding that gate and also the piers that support it and then moving, moving across um, as they get them done there. But all around Natomas and in the other parts of the valley, I just put this list here, there's all kinds of work. So if you, any of you are ever interested in wanting to go see it, um, you can, we can arrange something for you or the weir is easy if you want to just drive across, um, take a look at it there. So that's all I had. So see if there's any questions. Right. There we go. Uh, th thank you. First, Mr. Johnson, thank you for controlling the damn right wing. Um, <laughs> uh, Director Serna, please. Well done. Uh, question about the uh, the contaminants at the uh, 
you reach a property. Um, that's a pretty good amount of yardage of soil I saw. What's the, what's the contaminant in, at issue? Um, I believe most of it was a petroleum-based dumping type thing. Okay. Yeah. So like maybe oil drum mm -hmm. kind of seepage type of issue? Yeah. All right. Director Johns. What's the schedule on the Campus Commons golf course from here on out? It looks like they made, uh, I was over there the other day looking, looking at, made a lot of progress. Yeah, we should have it done. What's the exact one? Do you know, Jason? Well, I'm not sure about the exact date, but it should be in the fall, uh, October timeline. So it's what the intent is currently. Great. Thanks. All right. Any other questions? Is there any member of the public? I have not received any comment. Thank request. you. Next item, please. Separate matters item 14 is a public hearing resolution number 2024063, approving the supplemental assessment role and setting the fiscal year 2425 assessment rate for the Sacramento Area Flood Control Agency Operations and Maintenance Assessment District. Chair Kennedy, no presentation. We have a public hearing that we do every year for this assessment district that was adopted back in 1991 originally. And we have uh, 332,000 parcels, a little bit over that, that are assessed for this, uh, this special district for our general fund. So everything is in order. We are ready to roll. Thank you very much. Then uh, if there's no questions from the board, I'll open the public hearing. Is there any member of the public that would like to address the board at this time? Hearing and seeing none, we'll close the public hearing. Is there a motion? Move yeah. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Director Cerna, second by Director Conant. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Thank you very much. That takes us to the uh, receive and file, and we are adjourned. <laughs> Great. <laughs>